Remember those giant square box cars that look like they just came from a Hollywood action film set? When money was flowing freely in the late 1990s, the Hummer established itself as a status vehicle designed for the military and available to the general public. The fact that you needed a big bank balance just to fill it up with fuel was part of the appeal. Hummers were part of the car sub-industry of large recreational vehicles. But Hummers don't exist anymore. In 2010, General Motors tried to sell the brand to a Chinese company. That fell through and they ceased production shortly after. We can learn from Hummer's demise about how the remote environment an industry operates in will affect its future growth. PESTEL is the tool we use to perform this analysis. Each letter stands for a category of analysis we need to consider and using a positive, neutral or negative rating for each factor we identify. Governments in various countries around the world have moved to pass legislation that penalises products that pollute more than others. Voters are expecting this. Tax on fuel is also a big revenue earner for many governments, and this increasing cost is directly passed on to the consumer. These laws have impacted the large recreational car industry negatively. P and L are for political and legal factors, which can often be considered together. Political and legal factors that may affect growth rates include the level of government regulation and intervention in a particular industry, such as the pollution-based taxes. Some regulations can generate growth, but others can increase costs and stifle growth. At around 20 litres of fuel per 100 kilometres, the Hummer was not an environmentally friendly car. Now, when we perform pestle analysis, our focus is on the industry rather than the company itself. But with this type of regulation, we can see that anyone in the large or heavy vehicle part of the automotive industry is going to face difficulty as regulators push towards lower environmental impacts. The Hummer ran into a timing problem with the GFC. Disposable income levels dropped and larger recreational vehicles are an expensive purchase. Both this industry and the luxury car industry took a hit. At the same time, oil prices skyrocketed. Economic factors can include economic growth rates, inflation, interest rates, foreign exchange rates, unemployment levels and wages growth. When considering economic factors, we often start with the expected growth in the economy, as this should lead to a natural growth within the industry. If growth is low or declining, as in a recession, this may make it unrealistic to have business plans that are aiming for large increases in new customers and prices. Note that with some economic factors like interest rates, different industries can be affected in different ways. For example, if we look at current interest rates in Australia, we have seen that as they have fallen, the construction industry has benefited. Conversely, in the insurance industry, when interest rates fall, the value of liabilities may increase, so this may have a negative effect on industry growth. For our Hummer, social factors were initially powerful, such as status linked to having a high-powered, military-style vehicle. However, they are no longer helpful. The appeal of the gas-guzzling car is no longer there. Consumers want to be seen to be conscious of their impact on the environment and so are purchasing fuel-efficient cars. Urban density is increasing and getting a small hatchback through traffic and finding a park is hard enough, let alone trying to do the same in a tank on wheels. It's all negative for this industry. So S is for social. Think of analysing social impacts as primarily understanding the demographics and behaviour of customer markets. One example is the rising focus on healthy living and eating, which will have a significant positive impact on some industries, but hurt others that might produce unhealthy products. For the automotive industry and the Hummer, technology is both a positive and a negative. Computers run cars these days and increase efficiency, handling, safety and performance in clever ways. But for the large recreational car industry, disruptive technology like Tesla's entry to the market, along with several other electric car companies, has signalled a fundamental shift away from cars like the Hummer. Technological factors are often closely linked with globalisation and communications. Technological leaps can have a significant impact on industries, but it's always hard to predict when exactly they will happen. Think of the impact of digital cameras on photographic filmmakers like Kodak, internet streaming of video on DVD stores like Blockbuster, 
and ride-sharing apps like Uber and Lyft on the taxi industry. For the automotive industry, environmental factors are not looking good. Emission scandals that affected Volkswagen and the demise of our Hummer highlight key issues. Environmental impacts are closely linked to political and legal factors which are causing negative effects to the future growth of the industry. So, the second E is for environmental factors, as companies, industries and governments are grappling with the growing burden on the environment that industrialisation and advancement has brought. A reduction in available resources will raise raw material costs for many companies. But again, with the negative comes the positive. New industries and alternative energy sources are only very young and growing, as are those companies who are providing efficiency services and helping use technology to reduce pollution. To recap, PESTLE is an effective tool for identifying and understanding the effects of the remote environment on the growth of an industry. The reason the large vehicle part of the market is struggling and the Hummer no longer exists is not solely because of pestle factors, but it certainly helps create a clear picture of the main issues. What is important to remember is that pestle is always changing, and so any strategic plans that are created without reference to the effects of the external environment are unlikely to be realistic or achievable.